on, you can't even get a CD. Says you want more, I'ma put a boy game in the throat. Let me know when another nigga beat me. Got to like, whoa, 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 whoa. Make the motherfuckin' tough when the tip of the floor. Like the money truck, two four, when it get tall. Who's the man in the middle? When the nigga like you, that's what the bitch don't want to nigga go. Look, you look dope. All the work that's in there, that's all, man. Happy birthday, C5, man. Happy birthday, Brian, the big homie. Yes, sir. Appreciate all y'all. Texas, sitting down, stack mold bats, you know what I mean, entrepreneur, rapper, you know, leader in the community, you name it, and you know, he got something he want to tell you. Man, what's going on, stack mold bats, baby? Biggest business. Hey man, it's a pleasure to be out here in Dallas, you know what I mean? Appreciate the invite, you know. Uh, just talk about your establishment, man, where we at right now? Shit, man, you at SMB Studios, man, it's like, nah, matter of fact, right now, you at Club 113, man. 113, Trey, man. You know what I'm saying? In the daytime, it's SMB Studios. At nighttime, man, it's Club 113, Trey, man. 113, you hear me? So that's where we at. So it's a studio in the day, and then it's a it's a it's a club like an after hours by night. Yeah. And so, how long you been uh, stepping on this one right here? How long you been doing putting putting it down over here in this location? See, I've been here about three years. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty much studio for three years. You know what I'm saying? For uh, my artist and shit recently i just i just now started opening up to the public you know what i'm saying and doing a little more things and shit today is the grand opening to club one one tray you know what i'm saying the, the club in the back so you know we work so what does an establishment like this mean to the community the city in general shit man it's it's it's, it's like uh you remember when they had them uh stimulus checks this stimulus for the hood man like artists they can come get it in you know what i'm saying i got some artists that's based out of uh you know, my area, my hood, North Dallas, you know what I'm saying? And uh, just putting it, putting it down for them and then giving other artists platforms to come and do their thing as well. That's that's where the club come in, you know what I'm saying? And what I'm doing in Dallas right now is really putting a spotlight on the artists. You know what I'm saying? Like like giving artists uh, a platform and a place to do their thing. We, we at the Dive on 75, you know what I'm saying, on Thursdays and Saturdays. And then we just got a brand new spot that's, uh, you know, a little more intimate, a little more you know what I'm saying? Close, close knit, you know what I'm saying? So that's Club 113 and that's where we at right now, man. But I'm out here really just trying to put on for the city, man, and embrace the culture, man. And, and what we doing is stomping on the culture vultures. You know what I'm talking about? We killing them. The ones that sucking the, the life out the industry, the life out the city, and other cities just like mine, we killing them, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm here to do, man. God damn me. I'm like the superhero with the dollar sign on my chest, man. Big SMB shit, man. Stack mode shit, you know what I'm talking about? We here. So what do you feel like Dallas needs in order to get the underground to the next level? Shit, Dallas, Dallas needs support from each and every person that stay in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Just how they support their major artists. We need support. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might think that we got it under control. Ooh, they doing their shit. They dropping videos. Just, nah, we need the support. We need y'all to share this shit, like this shit, talk about this shit, jam this shit, buy this shit, or whatever your contribution may can be to push this shit to the next level. We need some motherfuckers that know industry knowledge. In order for us to get that, we gotta get a major artist. We come from Denver and we, we know artists like Mo3 and Trap Boy Freddy. And you know, in our eyes, them guys are pushing major lines. What do those big artists mean to the city? Honestly, RIP Mo3, right? Like, he's no longer with us. However, he did have a big impact on the hip hop game. What do those those artists that make it to that threshold, how do how do you feel like they can move in order to bring up the underground under them? Kind of like how you see in Atlanta, where one major artist kind of brings up more. Cause y'all got y'all's artists, but it just don't seem like y'all got them in abundance like a Houston or an Atlanta. Shit, man, first off, RP Mo3, you know what I'm saying? Long live Mo3. And uh shit, man, to answer that question, bro, uh what man, they just 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 keep pushing, keep smashing because they or there, you know what I'm saying? They almost there, but just just keep pushing, you know what I'm saying? Just keep smashing and then shit, man, reach back and, and and work with the artists, you know what I'm saying? We need more of unity in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Instead of like the names that you named, those were two 
prominent artists, but what was he? They were enemies, right? You know what I'm saying? They were enemies. So the enemy shit is 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 not gonna push us forward. You know what I'm saying? We gotta stop being enemies and start being more of uh brothers, you know what I'm saying? More supportive of one another. You know what I'm saying? Like it's enough money in the industry for everybody to eat. You know what I'm saying? Look at Atlanta. It's enough money for everybody to eat. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta try to step on the next man to kill the next man just to bring yourself up okay, as we see. That shit ain't working. Not for us. Since I've been here, man, we, we kind of had a tragedy in hip hop with Takeoff being killed in Houston. How do? You, what's your impression on that situation and the overall, uh, you know, perception of artists being killed and dying and going to jail as of late week? Shit, that's that shit. That's fucked up, man. You know what I'm saying? Really, it's really fucked up. Like the Takeoff situation, bro. It it, it fucked with me a little bit different because I, I I fought with the Migos. I like their music and shit, but Takeoff was was the one. Nigga that I really, you know what I'm saying? Like really fucked with. He was quiet, nigga, chill, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And shit, for him to get killed like that, you know what I'm talking about? They always say like like the good die young, you know what I'm saying? So for him to be out the way just chilling and woo woo, man, that shit that's pretty fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And as hip hop, uh, we gotta we gotta we gotta do something different, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we gotta do something different, bro. You know what I'm talking about? So Absolutely. Well, hey, Fats, I don't want to hold you, bro. I know tonight we're celebrating your birthday, so happy really? birthday for one. And you got the, the after hours jumping off 113. Let everybody know where they can meet you, greet you, and reach you before we break out. Hey, you can hit me up on uh, all platforms, man. Stack Mode Fats. You know what I'm talking about? Stack Mode, like Beast Mode. But we in Stack Mode. Stack Mode Fats, man, on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you tap into my artist, Lil Q900. You know what I'm talking about? The hottest, hardest nigga coming up out of Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Young nigga, hungry, humble nigga. You know what I'm saying? Good music, good stories. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all keep tapping into the SMB, the biggest business. And also follow us on Instagram, Stack Mode Brothers. You know what I'm saying? That's all one word, Stack Mode. Brother, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to my nigga Denver Doja, man, man. Coming down here all the way to Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta understand this, man. I'm, we met in Denver, you know what I'm saying? We was doing a show down there, Lucy, little cute me. We came down there and did the show. I was telling him I was gonna turn up for my birthday. I didn't say nigga, I'm gonna be there. That was about four, five months ago. Shit, I'll be down. He, he pulled up, you know what I'm saying? So we, we locked in forever, man. We rocking, man. Shout out to Denver Doja, man. You know what I'm talking about? Well, who you rocking with, bro? Man, man head clap, clap, clap TV, 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 nigga. I'm talking about. Clap. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.